Hey, welcome back, Tent Family. Uh, Dave from Coolview here. Uh, one of the biggest questions that we get whenever someone starts to try to incorporate a higher end window film or even a transitional film is how to upsell. Uh, it's you know it takes some trickery. It really does. It takes some practice. It takes a little bit of work. It takes a little bit of understanding. But it also takes you being able to make it relatable to the customer. Uh, it's it's not as difficult as you would think. I hear this all the time. My market can't support it. We can't do this. Well, here's what I would say. I would challenge anybody to do this. If you raised your prices $50 across the board today, and you had the same confidence that you had selling it at the price that you were already selling it at, I guarantee your ticket average would go up. I mean, we've seen it across the industry everywhere. It's not, you know, people walk through their doors, they're buying you. They're not buying necessarily the product. The product just helps you get to a place or get a ticket average that makes things more comfortable. And then I ask the question to most window tent shops is, why would a window film manufacturer have four or five different options that are better if there was no option or success in upselling? So it obviously exists because there is. So, you know, take some time to understand what you have and how to build a, build a ladder. Like, what's the value game? Now, in comparison, I guess I would say, you know, if you took a product, and let's say you had seven of those products next to each other, and you said this one was a dollar, and this one was a dollar two, a dollar four, dollar six, dollar eight, dollar ten, etc. There's no real incentive for you to go to the next step because two cents is so small, it doesn't put any value on the product that you're actually trying to jump to. So, I guess what the point, what I'm trying to say is that if you put value in something, not so it's not reachable, but just enough to where it might cause someone to trip up to the next product, you just you know, you just completely upsell the customer. Uh, you do it on value base. Now we used to do it on, you know, how much the warranty was, you know, for us guys that have been in the industry a long time, or, uh, you know, then we started doing it with, you know, a BTU meter and, you know, talking about warranties with the film and how much more heat it blocked and stuff like that. Now we have a new way of talking about it, how much heat it blocks, but then it has a moving part. That moving part creates a whole other entity in it that puts value in it. So how we do it here is we usually do a $50 jump. Now, that might not work in your market. It might be too low. Depending on, depending on where you're at, it could obviously be too low. You might want to think about, you know, 100 or even, you know, 150. But in my market, we found that 50 is the spot that will make people reach at least one more step up from where they normally would. So taking the time to really dive into your sales technique will definitely improve your upselling. Now, I call it a ladder with my guys. They understand, you know, they go, you know, good, better, best, wow. I like to say cool, cooler, coolest, and wow. That's kind of, we're a cool viewer, obviously. So we do that on a regular basis, and our ticket average really over the past four years has went up almost $100 a car. You know, when I first started in this industry and opened my shop, long time ago, people told me I was crazy, I'd never get 250 a car, and then they said you'll never get 300, and then you'll never get 350, four, five, etc. I've blown all of those numbers out because of confidence with the customer. People don't want to come into somebody and, and, and hear, you know, well, this one's the most expensive. You can't, you can't do that. You can never do that to yourself because you don't know the expectations of that customer when they're walking through the door. They may have it in their mind to that once you justify the technology and what it does for their life, to buy it. You know, I just had a customer here a few minutes ago and, you know, a, a thing that commonly pops up, you know, they were like, you know, and you'll, you all hear this as window tent shops, like, wow, so expensive. And they're holding a $1,200 iPhone in their hand that lasts two years if you're lucky. So let's put that into comparison with technology. Window film is technology. It's going to continue to get better. It's going to continue to grow. So never devalue it and never devalue your shop. And that's the number one key to success, I believe, in upselling. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.